All right, everyone, Miss Butler here. Got another video for you um, in our gas law unit. This video is all about pressure conversion. So we learned in the last video that there's lots of units to measure pressure, um, but sometimes what happens is you're given a unit, but in order to completely solve the problem, you need pressure to be measured in a different unit. So we're gonna learn how to go back and forth between those different pressure units. Before we do that, I have a warm up question with a manometer. Um, so pause the video and I want you to try this one. Um, we will have a progress check Friday with manometers and pressure conversion. So pause the video, see if you can get the right answer. Okay, hopefully you pause the video and solve this out. Um, so if I picture a small child jumping on this black bar, this black bar, I see that this one is jumping harder. So this side is my winner, this side is my loser. Now let's figure out how much the winner is winning by. So if we look, we want to find the difference. So I have 250 minus 100 gives me 150. So that means the winner wins by 150 points. So right now I know that my loser scored 680 points because the loser is this side right here. It has 680. My winner we don't know, but we know that it won by 150. So my question mark, because it's the winner, has to be bigger than 680, and by how much? It has to be bigger th by 150 points. So we should get 680 plus 150 gives me 830, and we match the same unit, mmHg, millimeters of mercury. So in this case, my unknown gas was the winner. It ended higher than the air pressure, and I knew it was the winner because the black bar was pushed down farther by the unknown. So quick vocab. Um, standard pressure um, is the pressure uh, at sea level. So this is the pressure of the air at sea level. Um, it is usually part of this phrase, um, STP, standard temperature and pressure. So the the P part of STP is referring to the pressure at sea level. If I were to go and measure the pressure at sea level, it would be one ATM or one atmosphere. If I was using a di different device, it would say that it's 101.3 kPa, or a different device might say it's 760 mmHg, millimeters of mercury, or 29.9 inHg, inches of mercury, or 760 tor, or 14.7 pound per square inch, PSI. So all of these are equal to each other because if I'm just using different devices to measure the pressure at the same location, the air pressure is not changing. It's just the unit that is changing. Similarly to if I measure um, the length of my table using, using inches or centimeters, the table is not changing, just the unit or the tool that I use to measure was changing. So oftentimes, I'm gonna give you a given value in one of these units and we want to change it to a different unit and so we are going to use this rainbow conversion factor to pick the two pieces i need so this part here will be my conversion factor the one we want to get rid of goes on bottom so it cancels out and the unit we want goes on top and then we'll multiply the provided number by this fraction to get our final answer in the new unit this should feel very very similar to the conversions we've done earlier this year um, like Mole Island and things like that. Um, we are gonna do some examples, but if you need more, here's another Miss Compton video link. It's in your notes and the time tells you um, when she does the pressure conversions, if you need more practice than what I'm giving. So first, let's start with something easy. Um, how many dozen do I have if I have seven or 2,789 eggs? So I always start with what's given, two, seven, eight, nine eggs. And then I have some equality or conversion, which they've provided for me right here, okay? The unit I want goes on top, one dozen. The unit we wanna get rid of goes on bottom, 12 eggs. So essentially what we're doing here when we multiply by this fraction is I'm taking 2,789 and dividing it by 12. I taught you guys earlier this year that you could multiply across the top and then divide by what's on bottom, right? 2,789 times 1 and then divide it by 12, but we know that 2,789 eggs times 1 dozen, that's just going to equal the same thing, right? Any number times 1 is the same thing. So then really we're just dividing oops, by 12 eggs. 
right? So when I do that, I get a number that is 232.4. And what ultimately happens is you can see eggs on bottom, eggs on top, they cancel. And so we're left with dozen, which is the unit that they want. Okay, let's do the same thing now, but with pressure units. So convert 2.25 atmospheres. We always start with what's given out in front, 2.25 ATM, atmosphere is ATM. I'm gonna times it by a conversion to MMHG. So the, there's this big long conversion at the top. I only need two of them though. I only need ATM and then what they're asking for, MMHG. So I'm ignoring this guy's gone and all of these I am just ignoring. My focus is these two units right here. So to get rid of ATM, that has to go on bottom and the number that's married to, oops, to ATM is one, one ATM. And the unit we want is MMHG for millimeters of mercury. So that goes on top, 760 MMHG. So we multiply across the top. We take 2.25 times 760. And then when we divide that answer by one ATM, that cancels out ATM. So I get 1710. And my unit that's left over is MMHG or millimeters of mercury. How many ATM are equal to 720 TOR? So we're starting now with 720 TOR. We want to cancel TOR out. So all I care about right now is TOR. And then they want ATM atmosphere. So I care about the red and the blue. I'm ignoring all of the rest. So to cancel out TOR, that goes on bottom, 760 TOR. So that way TOR as a unit cancels and one ATM goes on top. So what do we do here? We are gonna take 720 times one, which is just 720, and then divide that by 760. And when we do that, TOR cancels. So really I'm taking 720 divided by 760 and I'm left with 0 0.947 ATM. Let's try one more. Convert 650 MMHG. That's what's given. Six, that goes out in front. 2 PSI, pound per square inch. So the only things I care about on this one is my MMHG and my PSI. So let's see, to get rid of MMHG, that's gonna have to go on bottom. So we put 760 MMHG on bottom, and we want PSI on top, 14.7 PSI. So on this one, the math is a little more intense. Nothing we can't handle though. So we multiply across the top. So I'm gonna take 600, I'll do it in the colors actually, 650 MMHG times 14.7 PSI. And then whenever my calculator spits out that answer, I'm gonna divide that answer by the bottom, which was 760 MMHG. So when that happens, let's just do the top first. 650 times 14.7, I got 9555, and my unit right now for just the top would be MMHG times PSI divided by 760 MMHG. So now I'm gonna divide that 9,555 divided by 760, and I got 12.57. For my units, I have MMHG on top and bottom, so the only one left is PSI. So hopefully this video was shorter than yesterday, but here's what we're, you are going to do now. You're gonna find the pressure conversion practice problems on Canvas, try them on your own, either on loose leaf, a whiteboard, whatever you have, I don't really care, and check your answers. If you are getting several wrong and you can't figure out what you did wrong or how to do these on your own, you should email me. And then if you're feeling good or you email me and you get your questions answered, then you are going to try the exit ticket. This is just a one question thing um, for me to see where people are at. Do we need more practice with this or are we ready to move on? One more clarifying thing, um, you do not need to turn in the practice problems. You're checking your own answers. Um, but the exit ticket is under quizzes. It's also on the calendar for today. Um, but um, under quizzes, it's just a one question little exit ticket. Hopefully, um, if you have trouble finding anything, let me know.